anyone who can't get to New York, get to London, people who can't make it to the theatre, um, get to experience this great play, this great writing in their own homes. I was really intimidated at the notion of doing a monologue. I think monologues are always risky, but the writing was so strong. I felt like all I really needed to do was just say the words and it would still be a worthy experience, or an important experience um, theatrically. I found preparing for the stage version of Girls and Boys a really odd experience, because I think, you know, you're so used to building a fourth wall and building a narrative with another character on stage. So every other show I've ever done, there have been other actors, and together you build this imaginary world. So preparing for the stage show was odd because really the other character in your show is the audience. So you rely heavily on feelings that you get from them, responses that you get from them, whether that's laughter or silence or kind of gasps, or that sort of becomes the other character in the play. And the challenge of a monologue is that you're pretending on your own, which is a lot harder to sustain. So for the audio version, I think it's about addressing the mode and is it appropriate to have that performative nature that she has on the stage version or should it be more of a conversation over coffee in the way that she's telling the story? Hi, I'm Kerry Mulligan and I'm performing Girls and Boys, now available on Audible.